get ready to install oxygen sensors on that uh, black car back there, my 88. So long overdue. I put long tube headers on it and just never got around to doing this. So now's the time. Okay. Here are the oxygen sensors. I've got uh, two different kind here. Uh, let's see. I've got the NTK. It has a longer uh, harness or whatever you want to call it on it. The Bosch. I'm going to cut that plug off. They come with some kind of little kit here, but I'll cut that off and I don't have any of the wiring harness left on uh, the car out there, so I'm going to do it uh, myself. Now here's uh, where you start. Uh, this is an image of the 60 pin connector and as you can see it's uh, pretty easy to get. Just Google that 87 through 93 You'll see it there somewhere. Anyway, uh, your left heated exhaust gas oxygen sensor, Hugo, as you can see, is uh, pin 43. And the right is pin 29. Going right over here to your 60 pin connector. And I'm going to walk out here and show you um, what I got going on. This is long overdue. I've been driving it uh, without oxygen sensors. It idles real fast. So, glad I'm getting around to doing this now. Now, right here is the two wires. I kind of taped them up here. That's 29 and 43. Just kind of mark your 60 pin connector. I've removed a lot of the uh, pins out of here. And I'm not using. That's what I'm trying to do, clean up the wiring. Although it looks like a mess. It's got to clean up real well. Everything works the way I want it. And let's see, that's about it. And there's, there's just three wires. So there's three wires on each oxygen sensor. And one of them goes here, left and right here. And then you, I'll find, be able to find a hot wire anywhere and ground it right there. So uh, let's see what happens.